Yeah, I, I prepared some stuff. How much time do I have now? How much do you want? How much do you want? Uh, 40 minutes. No, just kidding. Uh, 40 minutes, I told you. It takes, it takes me 40 minutes to just introduce myself. Um, so, I'll follow up uh, Dave's uh, uh, um, act, which is uh, which I think was great, um, with uh, what keeps me up at night. Um, and if I have to be completely honest, I'll have a 10 months uh, year old son. Uh, so that's what keeps me up at night. Um, I, uh, um, I think we're uh, going to have like uh, really cool startups presenting, so I don't want to take too much time. And this is my uh, second act today, for those of you who were at the uh, SOSA event this morning. Um, so I'll be very, very brief. Um, I think that the, what we should be worried about, um, and Dave spoke about it, is the trust issue, right? Um, if you think about where we are today with uh, cyber, uh, it used to, you know, we came from a world where somewhere uh, in the 90s everything started to get connected uh, and uh, the world of connectivity emerged at around 2000. Remember the bubble years? Um, everything got connected, right? Uh, technologies like uh, uh, satellite uh, communications, uh, cellular devices, uh, packet switching, uh, just emerged and matured miraculously at the same time, and all of a sudden, um, as Thomas Friedman said, the world became flat. Uh, and then a few years later, around 2007, next generation technologies emerged, uh, like uh, smartphones, which we are now, you know, if I take your away your smartphone, you won't know how to even operate in this world. Uh, Android came out, the cloud came out, social networks became ubiquitous, um, and the world went from connected to hyper-connected. That's around 2007. And if you fast forward to where we are today, uh, I think it's the age of cross-connectivity, right? So it's no longer just our virtual connectedness and devices, but rather we're connecting things and we're connecting people and we have nanotech and we have biotech uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, <laughs> so there's a slide up there. So uh, uh, with that, uh, um, we are, wh where are we going now? So this is sort of, I think we're at the verge of uh, going into the age where um, not only we have man-machine interaction, but in many ways we're going to start um, to actually um, outsource some of the critical decision making to, uh, to machines. Uh, and that can be pretty scary, uh, but also has amazing potential, right? So the, uh, uh, what used to be a needle in a haystack or a needle in a needle stack um, is becoming something which is the norm, getting 